Hello everyone and welcome to Nomoria. If you're not familiar with this game, it is basically Dwarf Fortress Lite. A very simplified, uh, visually improved version of Dwarf Fortress. While Dwarf Fortress is more of a simulator, this is more of a game part. However, it lacks a lot of the interesting interactions that you get in the simulator of Dwarf Fortress. But it's still fun to play and it will satisfy that Dwarf Fortress itch while we wait on the patch and fixes from the bugs that are undoubtedly going to be included in the patch in the upcoming Dwarf Fortress update. So we'll go ahead and start a new game. We'll go with the advanced setup. And right away you can see that this is much simpler than Dwarf Fortress. Kingdom size will go large. Uh, random name. Desecrated land. Rashing. Blister Kingdom, Protrude, Stolen Land, Grimp and Purity, The Silken Greatness, The Invisible Kingdom, The Spooned Land, Phil Burden, Invisibility Fork, Land of Chains. Hey, that, I, like that, I like that name. Difficulty. I think we'll stick with normal. We'll go the normal metal depth, but abundant metals. Just for the fun of it. Let's see, what do we want to do about the terrain? We'll say wider hills. Maybe a little bit smoothish. We'll go not entirely smooth. Let's give it a preview. That's not terrible. We get the water. I'm not sure if I want this big mountain here or not. But I think we could work with this. We have plenty of trees. At least we have some water. We'll tweak it a little bit more just to see. What if we got a little bit flatter? Okay, pretty much the same thing, but less hilly. Mm, one more tick in the flatter section. And how about some narrower hills? Why don't we do it that way? Then we can have some tall, narrow hills. What would that look like? We could have Mount Gnome. That's what we could have. Oh, that's a little bit much. Okay, went too far. More flat. Actually, I want it tall. But... What would that look like? Ew. That smooth? Okay. Not exactly what I was expecting there. So maybe a little bit flatter. With the narrow hills. What if we do it like that? A little bit bumpy. Okay, we're getting there. Now I just need it to be a little bit taller, I think. F 
pretty far. Guess we're not going to have very much in the way of hills then. Little one there. Hmm. We have some apple trees. And orange trees. One of those is apple, one of those is orange. Birch, we still have all the stuff we need. I think we'll go with this. So let's generate this and I'll be right back. Alright, so we're here. If you're completely unfamiliar with Dwarf Fortress or this game, basically, it's a survival game, survival slash city building game, where you start out with a handful of people and resources, and then you build up from the various surroundings as you get more and more wealth, which is defined here. Total worth. I guess it's called worth in this game. Wealth, worth, whatever. Uh, invading armies will come to try to steal from you. And you can also make contact with friendly kingdoms, which you can trade stuff to get some of the more difficult to find things. So you can sell like excess cheese or something. Usually food is one of the things that people tend to be selling. Such renewable resources. And that'll help you build up an army to fight off the bad guys. But as far as I know, at least in North Fortress, I'm not sure if it's the same in this game, but there is no actual win condition. It's just you play until you get overwhelmed. And that's what we're going to do. So we'll start out with a little bit of tree chopping. Get some guys busy working. Actually, let's zoom in a little bit. All right. Now then we're going to need to mine down, dig stairs down. I'm going to have an above ground kingdom. So probably we'll start right here. So we'll dig one, two, three stairs down. And then one there and one there. I do not like how this thing is set. Then, do the opposite. Here, actually, I messed up there, didn't I? Okay, that's supposed to be like that. Cancel job. It's hard to... There we go. To get these lined up properly. And we'll want to have mine upstairs. Yeah. So that'll be here, there. Whoops. We're screwing this up again, aren't we? Okay, right there. I can't build them there. Let's have downward stairs there. Okay, maybe... Maybe I'm doing this wrong. It's too early to be screwing up this badly. I think... I should do... Let's cancel these jobs. Maybe I need to do that first. I 
think that's what's going on. Is that? Okay, that's in the wrong spot. Are these stairs up? Hmm. No, I, no, I have it wrong. I know what I'm doing wrong now, because I'm on the wrong level. I'm trying to think of it as doing it from the above. But this should just be... I think that could actually be just left like that. And then... Maybe mine out the walls here? And then dig down again? Stairs up. Dig stairs down. I'm not sure on that one. Let's finish this first. I'm pretty sure we just need to mine out those walls there. And then dig down again. And we'll see how that works. Thought maybe screwing up. Okay, I guess I can play. And it will auto save for us. Each season, I believe, lasts 12 days. Alright, I forgot to queue up a few things. We will. Agriculture, forge, get some forging going, so that somebody has some stuff to do, because we'll need that soon enough. Um, I'll leave it like that. Now then, can I dig stairs down? Yes. And then, what happens if I try to... dig stairs down here? Like that? Alright, so that's how I need to do it. Why can you not... Okay, there you go. What level are we on? Five? Six? So one more? Don't want to go down past seven to start off with because mobs start spawning. And then... We can just go back and use the mine wall tart. Just to get some stone. Whoa, okay, I did not know there was chasms. That goes down a ways. What is that? Sapphire? Yep. And... It's like... 10... Silver... Copper... 
More copper and silver. Oh, that gets down a long ways. Jeez. Down to... 34. I hope that doesn't cause problems with us. I don't know if there's anything that can fly. Alright, let's pause the game for a moment while we sort some things out. We're going to need to fell some more trees. Specifically those trees. Then right under the surface here we're going to want to start our crafting area I guess you could call it. This will be, we're going to have like a big castle up here, but I'm not going to be build, able to build that like right off. Thus, I'll need some crafting areas and storage area down here. I like to make things 7x7. Seven 2, 3, 3. That way you can put 2 of these 3x3 three three workshops. On each side. We'll have another 7x7. Seven seven. And let's see, what should you be? That one's going to be something. I guess I need to figure this out a little bit, but I know I need... At least one more of these. Let me ponder this for a moment. Alright, I think what was throwing me is that I hadn't had these workshops set up. Alright, so another 7x7 seven seven there. These will be furnaces. And various metalworks. Or these will be probably mostly smelters. Then, well, smelters and probably melting. Smelters and forges, I think, is what they're called. Maybe even some blacksmiths. That's eight. Okay. Here's where the actual metal will be. The metal bars will be processed, I mean. Oops, that's the wrong spot. There. Now that's what weaponsmiths, armorsmiths, and then tinkers, I think, also need metal. Like that. Some links through. This will be, so this is going to be, oh yeah, this is going to be pine. Which will have... Yeah, we'll have something come off here. That will be sawmills. And then we'll have the pine wood come to here. Planks. Where it gets processed into. Oops, that's the wrong spot. With carpenters. Processed into beds and stuff, or things that don't need good wood. 
torches and things of that nature, basically. Because we don't want to use the more expensive wood for uh, common items, items where we don't really need it, because A, it's, we're not going to have as much of it, and B, we don't want to increase our value too quickly until we get some defenses up and running. Alright, we said, okay, getting a little bit dizzy, a little bit of vertigo there. I don't know what was going on. Just the shape of this. So that was sawmills. I don't really know what's going to go here. Maybe nothing. But we'll dig out the space for it anyway. Then another 7x7. Seven seven. See if I can actually do that. Hmm, yeah, I must have gone too far. Here we go. It's nice that you can easily get the dimensions. That's a little bit hard to fortress. Alright, so this will be probably birch with some sawmills for that. That's the wrong spot. So here will be birch planks. And they might even share the carpenter shop, but probably not. They'll probably have their own. At least eventually. Initially they might share it. Ah, I did it again. Keep doing that. Alright. I wish there was uh, the... whatever it's called. I can't remember the name. The thing that allows you to design things earlier so that you can just press a button. Quick Fort. That's what it is. Quick Fort. I wish there was Quick Fort for this. Alright, so now then... Let's say we'll want the birch running and this one was pine. So we'll go ahead and start that one digging. That will be the wood and the metal industry. Or at least the starting of it. We'll have the food industry out here. Which another 7x7. Seven I think just having one will work. So we have a couple of kitchens. And say a brewery and maybe a butcher. Or maybe two breweries, one of those. that or we could have the butcher here that way it would flow into the next shop is that not right there we go then from the butchers we're going to need bone and leather Again. Isometric stuff takes a little bit of getting used to. Alright, 
that. So that is the initial thing. And let's see, we'll probably have cloth on this side. That way it can be accessed over here. We're making beds. Did I do that wrong again? No, I didn't. So we'll need looms and tailor shops there. Now then... That leaves us with most of the stuff I think we need initially. In fact, why don't we cancel that? That? There we go. We'll leave that one and we will cancel these. Well, I did not mean to do that. To cancel these. Um, we won't need the metal just yet, but they can go ahead and be digging it. So I could probably go ahead and mine that part. Right, so that's going to be that. And let me check the time on this. I forgot to set a timer. It does, in fact, look like we're out of time for today. I think we'll try to do 30-minute episodes for this series. Between episodes, I'll probably let them dig a little bit. There's one more thing I want to get to before we end this episode, if I can. Well, two things. First, we're going to want to build a couple of crude workshops, just wherever we can fit them. And we'll also want to, Let's see, where is it, or do we want to do that? Build, train, wall, we'll use a dark clump and then we'll replace it later. Just to have kind of a singular entrance for our place here. In case baddies show up. Did I build over the top of that? It's hard to see. It really is. It doesn't look like it. It's just a little weird. That'll just give our guys something to do. And while I'm setting things for people to do, we're going to say craft a whole bunch of pine planks. Uh, craft. Why aren't you crafting? There you go. Craft to ten of them. And then. Okay, we'll just leave that one like that. We'll make sure its priority is above normal. And that's that. So one, okay. This one is just going to be... Alright, we have to wait for a plank to finish. So we'll make a chisel, a couple of chisels. Wait on this guy to finish. Go a little bit faster. Yeah, okay say we want pine work benches and craft to two or craft to one actually yeah we'll say craft to one and then we'll go ahead and manually tell it to craft another one another two in fact and while we're doing that, let's do craft a chair, craft two, one, and 
then more chairs. One, two, three, four. That should take care of things and stuff. Between episodes while these guys are mining. Actually, they're going pretty fast. So like if you like, subscribe if you're not. Leave a comment if you have anything to say. I do read all the comments. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.